<laughs> this time we welcome in Will Z, uh, our official ESPN 1320 statistician. He's really the official statistician of the Sacramento Kings, as you often see his tweets on NBC Sports California. You see him on tweets uh, from the Sacramento Kings, and he previews each game by the numbers over on ESPN 1320.net. And well, to paraphrase uh, what my partner just said there a minute ago about the temperature, well, these bad Hornets, they sure are bad. <laughs> yeah, they are. I knew they weren't doing well this year, but, I mean, the offensive side is what really surprised me. Um, so, yeah, Damien, I think you said it earlier, they have the worst offense in the league, which is just a huge drop-off from last year where they were eighth in the league. And they were fun last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I, I I look at this team and I, I wonder I wonder how much not having LaMelo ball uh, for the majority of the beginning of the season um, has affected that team. I, I think he's the team's best player. I think he makes the engine go for them. And, you know, we talked about it a little bit. We didn't really want to talk about it, you know, unless we had to. But since they've missed their two best players for mm-hmm. the majority of the start of the season when you talk about Miles Bridges. We're, we're mentioning the, the the roster from last year, um, not having LaMelo and Miles Bridges to start the season. It's got to be tough. Yeah, and even with LaMelo back, he's averaging really good numbers, uh, 23.2 points, 6.7 assists, 3.2 rebounds, shooting 45, 38, 86% splits, but they're 1-5 in, in the games that he's played. Um, in the last three games – that he's played uh their offense have gotten has gotten a little bit better uh, their offensive rating has gone up to about 17th in the league but their defense has just plummeted since he's come back too um so he might be helping on offense but it seems like he's really hurting them on the defensive side so it still evens out to a lot of work being needed even with lamella back hmm. was Jay was with the Charlotte Hornets last year, wasn't he? Yeah. Was Jay Jay Trion? Like that's really what's wrong. We got him. That's a good point. (laughs) Our guy. Uh (laughs) they lost Jay Triano. And I mean, again, as 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 Kenny said, yeah, you you talk about Miles Bridges and 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 Lamella Ball being out. Miles Bridges, I I don't I don't know what the state of his career, but this team is just just a, a a brutal brutal fall off and then you got that Gordon Hayward contract that just sits over you and you really never know uh when he's going to play how much he's going to play but this is just such a dramatic fall off from a team that as you mentioned a moment ago Will was they they were fun last year if nothing mm-hmm. else you know they were fun to watch back to back years in the play in both play in losses but right there uh at the end of the season both times in just a a drastic fall off to now the the worst team in the league on many fronts. Yeah, and to put it into perspective, just a little more in the numbers on where they are on offense, they're shooting forty four point two percent from the field. That's last thirty two point four percent from three. Last fifty point six on two points attempts. Last and seventy four point four percent. That's twenty sixth. They're just hey, they're restricted go. area. The paint non restricted area. Um, above the break threes, they're all last in the league. Uh, the only place that they're like average on offense is corner threes, mm-hmm. and then the only place that they really succeed is uh, fast break points and points off turnovers. So if you can just limit them, which the Kings have done a decent job in points off turnovers, uh, but they have some struggles. It's on a game to game basis. Just limit them in transition, and you should be good to go. You know, one of the um, other big issues for the Charlotte Hornets team is what they do or don't do on the defensive end. Mm-hmm. Um, th- are those numbers bearing out the same thing that they're just also – we know we got the, the total number. I think Damian said they were 28th in the league defensively. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's against some of the Kings' strength as far as, like, defending the three or uh, defending uh, – giving up points in transition – are they just as bad, you know, as it seems, as the record probably would, would entail? Yeah, the one that stood out to me the most was uh, that they do a surprisingly good job of defending at the rim. Uh, so their uh, opponents are shooting 63.1% at the rim, which is actually fifth lowest in the league. Uh, but they give up a super high percent in the non-restricted pain area, so like the floater range. And that's actually where the Kings have been one of, if not the best teams 
in the league in that spot. So the Hornets' opponents are shooting 49.5% in the zone. Kings are shooting 48.3%. That's second highest. So we see Fox. Uh, Mitchell likes that spot. Uh, Herder's been really good there as well. There's just a ton of Kings players that have really high percentages in that space right in front of the rim that I think they could just feast tonight. And I don't know if that's because the Hornets just collapse at the rim or why there's such a big discrepancy between those two spots, but it just stood out to me. Hmm. We checked the D'Lo and KC stats uh, from Friday, Will, and I know mm-hmm. you posted these uh, following the game. Uh, 30 assists, 12 threes, yep. and 18 to 6 were fast break points. Uh, and I think that was your stat, Will Z, the mm-hmm. fast break points. Uh, what stat are you watching tonight against Charlotte? I think it'll be the fast break point battle. Uh, since that's such a strength of kind of both teams, it'll be one that I kind of key in on and see who can really get out and run the best. We've seen the Kings are they're built for all the things, threes, assists, and running. So it'll just be kind of see who can win that uh, fast-paced game the best and hopefully should be a fun game to watch. Yeah, I, I I like that um that that stat that that you had on Friday and that you're bringing here too because I think that also um, plays into the other two right when they're in the, on the break you know this isn't a selfish team this Kings team they they get the ball to the open guy so they get the ball up court that helps with the assist and a lot of the times they end up running to the three point line you know so yeah. if they're getting you know fast break points at a high clip it probably means they're moving the ball. Uh, up the court, and it probably means they're getting some wide open looks from threes, and they're knocking them down. So I think they're all kind of intertwined. I like those three stats together. Yeah, and then stops on defense too. Yeah. The Kings can take it out of the basket and run, but I mean it's just easier and usually more likely if you're getting stopped, you're getting out and running. Yeah. So that's why I like that one so much. Is it kind of factors in on both sides? Well, anything in this shift, slight shift of backup center minutes uh, got your attention the last couple of games? Yeah. um, It's been the last game. What's stood out to me was Metu got all the minutes in the first half. Holmes got all the minutes in the second half. I don't know if that will be kind of the point where we look back and see there was a shift or not. We'll need more sample size, but it was just intriguing to me that, that it was such a cut and dry First half versus second half, met two versus Holmes. I mean, they only played a combined seven minutes, so it's not, in the grand scheme, it's not that many minutes of a 48-minute game, but it's going to add up over the season. and uh, It's kind of something that I'll be keeping an eye on to see how that continues to trend. And I think I saw a hammer tweet. Kata is with the team here. He's not in Las Vegas uh, at that, that G League thing that's going on. So he he's 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 still with Sacramento. So that I I don't know maybe that's something to watch as well. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's good to have the options. I still love Kata. I'd like to see Kata go up against someone who's not Joel Embiid um, sure. for a yeah. little fairer of a test. But uh, to be fair, we didn't really see him in that game either. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it was a very short-lived stint. <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. Yes, <laughs> Kata. Um. Man, great stuff as always, Will. This is, you know, we've tried to avoid this stuff all year, but this is a bad basketball team. It's Mm -hmm. the second bad basketball team they're playing in a row. Kings need to go out there and handle business tonight. Yeah, they do. And until they drop one of these games that they should win, I'm comfortable saying that they should win tonight. And they've proven and built up some kind of leeway where I think we can start saying that at least a little bit more. Um, one of these times it's going to happen, but for now I feel pretty confident in saying that this one should be should be something at home that they should just take care of business. I agree. And especially, in real quick, especially against a team that doesn't play defense. If you don't play mm-hmm. defense against the Sacramento Kings, they're going to put up 120-something on your head, 125-plus, and you're probably not going to be able to keep up because at some point the Kings will play defense. So. Yeah. I, I think that's just a, a, a bad matchup all the way around for the Hornets. Yeah, the odds of the Hornets playing improved offense and defense 
which they would have to do to beat the Kings or just hope the Kings miss all their open shots, which we've seen, but um, you never know. But yeah, the Hornets, I mean, they'd have to have a near perfect game and make improvements on both sides of the ball, mm-hmm. which is just asking a lot. Appreciate you, Will. Great stuff as always, man. We'll be tuned into the Twitter feed tonight. Probably you asking you questions so you can enjoy the game. <laughs> Keep Thanks, them coming. Will. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> That's our man, Will Z, right there.